Hi Ravi, uh, that is a very good uh, question because these are one of the difficult questions in the Viva because you don't know where to start and where to end and how forceful you should be for one against the other. Uh, the message to give you and your colleagues regarding these type of questions and the similar question to this would be, for example, patella resurfacing or not, like you've mentioned, as well as posterior cruciate retaining knee or posterior cruciate substituting knee or cemented stem versus uncemented stem or DHS uh, versus short uh, nail etc etc full stop uh, as you all have all done orthopedics for four years and you all are joining us as consultants uh, you all will all be aware that these are questions where there's no real correct answer and hence i completely agree with shuan uh, and the others that you uh, cannot be dogmatic about one over the other at all full stop the message, therefore, is for any of these questions, please start by saying that there's no clear evidence in the literature to support one over the other, full stop. The second general point uh, in this type of question is that please try to uh, remember as to which table this question will be asked at. Is it asked at the basic science table or is it asked at the adult reconstruction or the trauma table, full stop. The reason why this is important is that if it's asked at the basic science viva table, then obviously it is a setting question to know your knowledge about this subject. But more importantly, it's leading to something in basic sciences where you're going to be marked upon, for example, it could be leading to, in patella resurfacing or not, on a free body diagram around the knee for patella height, etc, etc. Or it could lead to, if you're going to mention something about papers, it may lead you to a question on to NJR or paper interpretation, etc. Full stop. Hence, as you can clearly understand, these type of questions are not a pass or fail as to what answer you give. Full stop. Obviously, if it's asked on adult reconstruction table, then the question is more about uh, your breadth of knowledge on this subject. And I will tell you how to talk about that later, full stop. Hence, I would answer this question about patella resurfacing not as follows. And please note, this is when I am asked this question on the basic science viva table. As patella resurfacing is concerned, there's no clear evidence in the contemporary literature, both by long-term survival studies, as well as patient reported outcome measure studies to completely support resurfacing or not, full stop. Then carry on to tell the examiner that generally there are three groups of surgeon. There are surgeons who always resurface the patella, there are surgeons who do not resurface the patella and then they are selective resurfacers. Full stop. From now onwards, you can go on to any of the two. I personally resurface all my patella, so I'll just tell you how I would tackle this question. Full stop. So carry on and say, I, however, sorry, before I uh, mention this, I want you to add another point and say historical studies had shown a loosening rate of patients who were resurfaced, but those were using metal backed patella, which are not used now, full stop. Now I'm carrying on with uh, my answers to resurfacing, and then I'll give you another answer as to if you want to say you do not resurface. And carry on and tell the examiner, however, I do resurface all my patella because I want to recreate patella height and optimal patella height is important for quadriceps function and that's why I resurface patellae. However, 
Well, as I have mentioned above, there's no clear evidence from the literature to support this either from patient reported outcome measures or our long term survival studies. Full stop. If you were going to say, I do not resurface the patella, then you can say, I do not resurface the patella, even though I do know the patella height is important for quadriceps function in basic science studies. However, in patient reported outcome measure studies and long term survival studies, there's no evidence to support this. Hence, I do not resurface the patella. Full stop. Now, let's suppose this was a basic science viva table and I was setting you up to ask you about uh, patella height and the role it plays in a free body diagram of the knee and quadriceps function. Then I would expect you to now draw the diagram which you know how to draw very well, which is the femur and the tibia with the patella with the quadriceps pull and the patella tendon pull and another arrow which will delineate and point out to the examiner the joint reaction force, full stop. Hence, you will carry on and tell the examiner that I do know patella height is important for quadriceps function. However, at the same time, if the patella height is increased excessively, I do know it will have a detrimental effect on the joint reaction force and you will show it to him on the diagram, full stop. So I hope you understand what I mean by these type of questions are not pass or fail. There's no right or wrong answer. But if you can use correct terminology like long term survival studies, patient report outcomes measure studies, laboratory based studies to support or not support a particular part of the answer that will help you full stop. I completely agree with everyone who mentioned points about this on patella resurfacing and once again uh, to put it in a manner which is uh, easily uh, mentioned and not not completely uh, biased to one one another I will give you a few more points full stop if you are saying that you resurface patella after you finish this uh, saying at about saying and mentioning the patella height issue you can also say that by by resurfacing the patella uh, the potential for the need for further surgery if a patient has ongoing knee problems is avoided full stop you can once again clarify this by saying that once again studies on patients who have had the patella resurfaced after uh, a total knee replacement once again has not concluded pr proven that there is a benefit in their pain full stop hence I agree with Shuan that it's a point worth uh, knowing about but how to put it is probably in the way I have said uh, full stop it is clearly not the reason why everyone should uh, resurface the patella however Full stop. Then you can also mention that there is a suggestion that in patients with inflammatory arthropathy like rheumatoid arthritis, uh, the patella should be resurfaced. But you can add that once again, evidence based medicine does not support that in either long term survival studies or patient reported outcome measure studies. Full stop. As regarding the issue of uh, complications is concerned, you can mention that I do know that with patella resurfacing there is a complication of a potential of a patella fracture hence in those patella which are thin I would be very careful and do a minimal resection of the native patella and use the but patella button to recreate patella height full stop lastly uh, some People do talk about the fact that they like to resurface patella because it will help in patella tracking. I would like to point out that how you can mention this to examiner is say that there is a suggestion that by resurfacing patella tracking it aids in patella tracking. However, uh, the most important determinant of what is important for patella tracking is the correct femoral component position 
and that is what I will uh, aim to do. Hence, hence I've tried to uh, put the above points uh, in a manner which uh, you can try to exfoliate to other situations uh, and I hope this helps. Once again this is my view and uh, don't get too stressed or tense about uh, uh, what is the correct answer. La lastly, um, if any of the uh, e exam uh, going candidates uh, in Feb for February or um, April uh, live around uh, Hertfordshire, Essex, London and if I'm doing any teaching sessions in Harlow, uh, you're most uh, welcome and I do hope you found that above uh, useful. Many thanks.